namin Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na aming gagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Fantastic day, grade 8 skillful learners. How are you today? I hope that you are all doing great. By the way, I am Mom Ellen Bird, your TLA live stream teacher. Before we start, make sure that you have your self-learning material for you to be more guided. Are you all set? Great! Let's get started! Before we start with today's lesson, can you still remember the course we explored last quarter? What a positive response! Last quarter, we learned about handicraft production. Correct! Which lesson in handicraft production is the most helpful to you and why? Please key in your answer in the comment box below. I would love to read all of your thoughts later. Thank you for sharing. I am glad that you learn lifelong skills through our subject. Job well done. Keep it up. For this quarter, we will be exploring CSS or Computer System Servicing. CSS or Computer System Servicing is an exploratory course under ICT or Information and Communication Technology. Computer System Servicing is a course designed to develop knowledge, skills, and attitudes of computer technicians in accordance with industry standards. It covers the basic, common, and core competencies such as installing, maintaining, configuring, and diagnosing computer systems and networks. Based on MELCs, or most essential learning competencies, our first lesson would be CSS hand tools and their proper use or uses. For the learning competency of the lesson, we are expected to use and maintain hand tools. Under this learning outcome one, you are going to prepare hand tools, and in doing this, you are expected to LO 1.1, identify properly the task to be undertaken, and LO 1.2, classify and select appropriate hand tools according to the task requirement. With learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to Number one, identify the different hand tools in computer system servicing. Number two, classify CSS hand tools according to its function. And number three, appreciate the importance of CSS hand tools in basic computer troubleshooting. Are you class ready to begin? Nice! So do I. Before anything else, let me assess first how much you already know about our lesson. Let's have this test entitled Real or Fake, and this test is 
or in this test, you are going to read and analyze the following statement. Then you identify if each statement is correct. If yes, comment real. And if no, comment fake. You have five seconds to answer for each number. Allow me to read each statement for you. Number one, the first task to be undertaken in the proper tool selection is asking a co-worker, is it real or fake? Your timer starts now. For number one, the correct answer is fake. Very good. Let's have number two. Field experience. Okay, let's wait. For number two, field experience in the safe use of tools is the most important consideration in selecting the best tool, real or fake. Your five seconds start now. Okay, so for number two, if you answered real, then you are doing great. Let's have the third one. Tweezers, wire cutter, and flashlight are hand tools in computer hardware repair kit. Real or fake? Your timer. Okay, time is up. So for number three, if you answered real, okay, you are also correct. Good job. Let's have number four. Needle or a needle nose plier is sometimes called a nut driver. Real or fake? Your timer starts now. Okay, your time is up. For number four, the correct answer is... Okay, fake. Nice one. Let's have number five. The tool pearl catcher used by a computer technician is also known a part retriever. Real or fake? Your five seconds start now. Okay, so for the last item, if you answered real, then you are correct. So, good job everyone! So, later in our discussion, you will discover why some statement is correct and some are not. How many of you got 5 and 4? It means that you have already prior knowledge about our lesson. And for those who got 3 and below, please be more attentive for you will have a lot more to learn ahead. Now, let us all take a glance at a short significant history of how a computer which we all know today started. Please listen carefully for I will ask you some questions afterward. The Abacus the abacus is also called a counting frame. It is a calculating tool that has been used since ancient times. The abacus was an early aid for mathematical computations. It is only value is that it aids the memory of the human performing the calculation. The Pascaline, also called as arithmetic machine, the first calculator or mechanical adding machine to be produced in any quantity and actually used. The Pascaline was designed and built by the French mathematician philosopher, philosopher Blaise Pascal between 
1642 and 1644. We also have Charles Babbage. He was an English polymath, a mathematician, philosopher, inventor, and mechanical engineer. Babbage originated the concept of a digital programmable computer in the 1930s. Babbage is considered by some to be the father of the computer. Okay, so the Z1 was a motor-driven mechanical computer designed by Konrad Zuse, a German engineer and early computer scientist from 1936 to 1937. And his Z4 was arguably the world's first commercial digital computer designed and built from 1942 to 1945. Okay, so that's all. Let us now all, or let us now answer the following questions for me to test if you listened well and learned something. The directions will be to answer the following questions by choosing only the letter of the best answer you have five seconds again to answer each number and allow me to read each question and choices let's have number one for question number one who was considered the father of computer a blaise pascal B. Charles Babbage or letter C. Conrad Zeus. Your timer starts now. Time is up. So the correct answer is letter B. You are correct. Let's have number two. For number two, when did Blaise Pascal invent the Pascaline. A. 1642 B. 1643 or letter C. 1644 Your five seconds start now. Okay, time is up. The correct answer is letter A. 1642 Good job. Let's have the third one. Oh, sorry. For number three, what was the first world's commercial computer? A, Z2, B, Z3, or letter C, Z4. Your timer starts now. Okay, the correct answer for number three is letter C. Amazing! So, you have really a good listening skills. After learning the brief history of computers, let us now dig deeper into our lesson. Let us define some words that we will encounter as we go through. First, we have the word computer. A computer is a machine that accepts data as input, processes that data using programs, and outputs the process data as information. Many computers can store and retrieve information using hard drives. Computers can be connected to form networks that allow them to communicate with each other. Next, we have the word tool. A tool is a handheld device that aids in accomplishing a task. Lastly, we have a hand tool. Hand tool is a device for performing work on material or a physical system using only hands. The hand tools can be manually used, employing force or electrically powered using electrical current. 
they are available individually or is a part of a computer repair toolkit. So how to properly select hand tools to be used in CSS? One of the tasks to be undertaken in a computer service system is proper tool selection such as knowing and understanding in detail the scope of work to be accomplished and planning for the scope considering the sequence of tasks. Next, selecting the best tool for each task requires training in the proper use of the tools, field experience in their safe use, and following the manufacturer's guidance and instructions for that specific tool. Next, obtaining the tool together with all the associated tooling and consumable parts as recommended by the manufacturer. In addition, Related consumable parts must also be selected and used according to their manufacturing instructions. And lastly, using the tool for the purpose for which it is designed once selected. Proper tool selection is always vital at all times. And here are some hand tools commonly used in CSS. We have flathead screwdriver. It is a wedge-shaped flat tip used to tighten or loosen flathead screws. We also have Phillips head screwdriver. It is used to loosen or tighten cross head screws. Next is Torx screwdriver is used to loosen or tighten screws that have a star-like depression on the screw heads. We also have hex driver. It is sometimes called a nut driver. It is used to tighten nuts in the same way that a screwdriver tightens screws. Use a hex driver to loosen or and tighten bolts that have hexagonal or six-headed or six-sided head. Hex bolts should not be over-tightened because the threads of the bolts can be stripped. Do not use a hex driver that is too large for the bolt that you are using. We also have needle nose plier. It is used to hold small parts. We also have wire cutter and is a hand tool used to cut wires. Next is tweezers. It's used to manipulate or hold small parts. And also a part retriever. It is used to retrieve parts from location that are too small for your hand to fit. We also have wire stripper which is used or a tool used to decide to remove the protective covering or the jacket from a cable to expose the inner wires. And lastly, a flashlight is a portable handheld light. It is used to light up areas that you cannot see well. Hand tools are to be selected properly according to their use to make the job more accurate, to save time, effort, and money, and of course to prolong the serviceability of each tool. And for you to recall our lesson for today, let's have a recap. You are going to fill in the blanks with the correct word to complete the given paragraph. Are you ready? Great! You have 5 seconds to comment your answer for each missing word and let me read it to you. Computer system servicing is designed to develop knowledge, lack, attitude, 
of computer service technician in accordance with BLAC standard. It covers basic common competencies such as installing, BLAC configuring, and BLAC computer systems and BLAC. So let's have first number one. For number one, your timer starts now. Okay, time is up. If you answered skills, then you are correct. Let's have the second one. Your five seconds start now. Okay, so for the second one, if you answer industry, then you are doing great. Let's have the third one. Okay, so for number three, the correct answer is maintaining. Very good. Let's have number four. Okay, for number four, if your answer is diagnosing, then you are amazing. Let's have the last one. For number five, your five seconds start now. Okay, time is up. The correct answer is networks. Good work. One of the tasks to be undertaken in computer service system is proper tool selection. With that, what are the hand tools that are commonly used in CSS? Feel free to comment down your answer. Some of the tools that are commonly used in CSS are Flathead Screwdriver, Phillips Head Screwdriver, Torx Screwdriver, Hex Driver, Needle Nose Plier, Wire Cutter, Tweezers, Port Retriever, Wire Stripper, and Flashlight. Do you have any questions with regards to the lesson we discussed today? If not, let's have an enrichment activity for you to learn more. This activity is entitled, Who Am I? With Directions. Identify what hand tool is being presented. Write your answer in the comment section. You also have 5 seconds to answer each number. Are you ready? Great! Let's start! So for number 1, your 5 seconds starts now. Okay, so the correct answer is wire sweeper. Very good. A wire sweeper is a tool designed to remove the protective covering for from a cable to expose the inner wire. That's how number two. For number two. Okay. For number two, if you answered Phillips Head Screwdriver, then you are correct. Phillips Head Screwdriver is used to loosen or tighten cross head screws. Let's have the third one. For the, for the third one, your timer starts now. Okay, so for number three, if your answer is flathead screwdriver, nice one, you are correct. A flathead screwdriver is a wedge-shaped wedge flat tip used to tighten or loosen flathead screws. Let's have number four. Okay, for number four, your timer starts now. For number four, if your answer is wizard, 
Amazing! You are correct! Tweezers is used to manipulate or to hold small parts. Let's have the last item. Your timer starts now. Okay, so time is up. If you answered wire cutter, you are doing great. So wire cutter is a hand tool used to cut wires. Job well done, learners. Okay, so uh, cheer up because here is another activity for you entitled, Where Do I Belong? So this, uh, okay, so this activity is with directions. Classify the following hand tools in computer system servicing according to their uses. Whether they belong in cutting tool, holding tool, or turning tools. You have five seconds to answer each number. Are you ready? Let's start. For number one. Okay. Is the function of needle nose plier a cutting tool, a holding tool, or a turning tool? Your five seconds. Start now. Okay, so what's your answer? Okay, correct. Holding tool. Let's have number two. Hex driver. Is the function of hex driver a cutting tool, holding tool, or turning tool? Okay, time is up. If you answered turning tool, then you are correct. Let's have number three. Okay, part retriever. Okay, so what is the function of part retriever? It is is part retriever used for cutting tool? Holding tool or turning tool. Your timer starts now. Okay, time is up. So for number three, the correct answer is holding tool. Let's have number four. Torque screwdriver. Which of the following is the function of torque screwdriver? A cutting tool, holding tool, or turning tool. Your five seconds starts now. Okay, so time is up. So, if you answer turning tool, then you are correct. Amazing. You keep it up. Let's have this number five. Wire stripper. Is this tool used as cutting tool, holding tool, or turning tool? Your timer starts now. Okay, time is up. What's your answer? For number five, the correct answer is cutting tool. Okay, so congratulations, learners, for a job well done. And for your assignment, you're going to list down five CSS hand tools available at your home. Complete the table below by providing the use or uses of each tool and how to properly store them. Copy and answer it in your notebook. That's all for today's class. Always remember, whatever is the situation, education must go on. This has been Mom Ellenberg. Thank you for listening and participating. God bless and keep safe always. Goodbye, class. One.